Hello guys and uh, welcome to next Freebase Max tutorial. Today I will show you how to create a simple chair. As you can see here we have the final result of uh, this project. So it's not hard. And okay, let's go. First I will hide this one. And uh, on top view, I will use spline for create a body. So we need shapes and splines, and I will use rectangle. Uh, let's use eighteen by one twenty. And corner radius use five. Okay. Uh, let's put this rectangle to center. Okay, now it's much better. Okay, I will hide this grid. I don't need it. Okay, now in uh, modify, uh, let's find edit uh, spline. Edit spline, go to uh, segment, select these two edges, and move down, scroll down, and uh, let's use this uh, divide modify. Okay, now we have two vertex added to this line. Now let's go scroll up and move to vertex, and now Let's move that uh, vertex inside, so with uh, select and move uh, arrows, we can move this line. Now we have, whoops, we have two uh, ways how to move. Now uh, I will show you first uh, with the shortcut, something like that. So press right click on move, go to this box and left click. So as you can see here, we have a uh, absolute world and offset world axis. On absolute world, we have something as you can see 4D for now. Now we need to change this uh, axis. So that means this axis was edited. So I wanna move. Uh, for 10 centimeter inside, so I will use 30. Okay, on next one, it's same method, but the point is we have minus, so that means uh, we will keep that minus and just change first number. Now it's much better. Okay, and a different way. For me, maybe it's the easiest for you. Is that to edit it directly here in these columns? Because as you can see, it's same. So just find uh, which axis you need to move and change. You have here x, epsilon, and z axis. So that's it. Okay. Uh, next uh, one. Uh, Next step, I mean, we need uh, some uh, 3D object uh, for that. I will use extrude modifier. And as you can see, this is a first result. We have already something. It's not bad. Uh, I will use amount of two later. Uh, will be edited to finish it, but for now let's use amount of two. Okay, and uh, next one we need uh, next modifier will be uh, quality mesh. It will give us some nice grid, as you can see. Uh, that grid will help us to hold nice shape, nice angle of this body. Okay. 
so after this modifier uh, next one is a band so uh, band with the band uh, let's give it some angle angle of 70 but as you can see this is not the right axis so we need to find it epsilon x and uh, I will use this epsilon uh, but as you can see this uh, parameter is not focused in the right direction if you're looking from uh, top it looks like a bell but uh, we <laughs> want that shape so let's change direction by 90 degrees <coughs> okay now it's much better yeah okay Uh, next modifier will be same band so again band but this time we want to use this limit effect and uh, angle 80 with the limit effect let's move by 5 and let's find right axis at x axis but the point is uh, minus 80 so minus 80 upper, upper limit it's 5 and now lower limit let's move it down 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 until we give uh, we got something uh, or better say we give them some a soft shape it's not bad let's use 15.5 <coughs> and 5 okay and uh, now let's rotate this uh, object So, uh, 65 degrees, actually, let's try hold it uh, to be in the uh, right position. For that, we can use, uh, let's try with snap angle. Yeah, 70 degrees, I think 70 will be fine. Yes, 70 degrees, yeah. Nice. Okay, I'm just uh, checking how it looks. Now we can uh, a little bit uh, change. Uh, no. Whoops. So now a little bit plain uh, with the parameters to get uh, as bad as possible shape for a chair. So let's use minus 20. <coughs> okay. Uh, next one, let's use turbo smooth to give some smooth edges. It's not bad. Interaction one, I think it's enough, but you can use two. But let's still uh, let's stay with one. Okay, and now what I want, I will do now something really cool. So let's go back to the rectangle and press hold and yes. Now 
corner uh, go to the corner radius and move forward and look at that what we got something really cool okay let's use 20 so we have body it's not bad uh, next uh, I will create uh, legs I think this is the most easiest part uh, of this tutorial let's do that so I will go to this uh, snapper toggle and select grid lines activate it so as you can see we have now yellow uh, edges <coughs> and now I go to the splines select line and choose uh, let's find uh, some good position can edit later so let's use this one this one this one yep nice okay so we don't need this one no and uh, again uh, go to the modify list and edit this line select vertex and move a little bit down I think this one can stay here yeah and uh, in modifier list we need, uh, we need we need we need sweep modifier and here select uh, find the pipe so yeah but this is too, too big okay let's reduce uh, reduce uh, radius so in pipe scroll down parameters radius and as you can see uh, by, uh, by basic is uh, free but let's use one see how it looks okay I think this one uh, seems good uh, and I think this is a little bit short uh, let's move by one yeah nice okay <coughs> uh, next one is uh, let's put some angle I think 10 degrees is enough copy select mirror uh, and y axis yeah and final uh, result to let's move a little bit up so that's it <coughs> this is a simple chair but you can uh, modify put some other legs let's unhide every chair what I've create so as you can see here I create other uh, different leg just to check uh, to how it looks so it's not bad so that's it guys uh, I hope 
I was not too complicated to explain. And yeah, see you later.